So time now for our feature contest. The super middleweight world title fight, Claressa Shields and Nikki Adler in just her fourth pro fight. Claressa Shields fighting for a pair of 168 pound world titles. It will be an extraordinary accomplishment if she can pull it off, but uh, it has been a career full of extraordinary accomplishments thus far for Shields. Let's send it down to our ring announcer, Mr. Jimmy Lennon, and Jr. And now for the main event, please welcome the boxers to the ring. First, here is the challenger from Flint, Michigan, Clarissa Shields. Clarissa Shields steps in the ring, just 3-0 and and vying for her first world title at 168 pounds, an entrance fitting for a star here at the MGM Grand in Detroit, Michigan. A sold out crowd here in the hall at the MGM Grand. And a very relaxed looking Clarissa Shields. She said this is the most relaxed she's ever been in camp, primarily because making weight wasn't an issue. 168 pounds, very easy for Clarissa to come up to, not get down to. And thus far in her career altogether really hasn't found a fighter who's been able to challenge her outside of just one amateur loss to Savannah Marshall. Shields has not found a challenge and she has not been able to, to overcome. Ring, uh, the defending world champion from Germany, Nikki Adler. This is Nikki Adler, 16 and 0. Nine knockouts. The reigning super middleweight champion. She has had a terrific pro career thus far and going back to her amateur career, actually has an amateur win over Christina Hammer, who many regard as one of the top women's boxers in the world today and certainly a dream fight down the road potentially for Claressa Shields but this is very much diving into the deep end for Shields to take on Nikki Adler this early in her pro career this is an audacious debut at the world title stage Adler, 30 years of age, an undefeated world champion, a two-time world champion. All that being said, a victory for her tonight would also be the biggest win of her career. 
a momentous occasion, and we are set to go. Let's send it down to Jimmy Lennon Jr. Ladies and gentlemen from the MGM Grand Detroit, we present the Showbox, the new generation featured attraction of the evening, brought to you by Salida Promotions, along with the MGM Grand Detroit and Showtime. This bout is sanctioned by the WBC, President Mauricio Suleiman, Supervisor Jill Diamond, along with the IBF, President Daryl Peoples, Supervisor Lindsey Tucker, and the Michigan State Unarmed Combat Commission. The chairman is Jeff Styers. Introducing our three judges, just scoring from ringside, Nicholas Eno, Pasquale Procopio, and Jack Woodburn. Our third man of the ring, the referee in charge, he'll be giving instructions, Michael Griffin. All right, fans, here we go with the main event of the evening. Ten rounds of boxing for the WBC and vacant IBF Women's Super Middleweight Championship of the World. And now, ladies and gentlemen in attendance and boxing fans joining us around the world, live from the MGM Grand Detroit, it's showtime. Introducing to you first, the challenger on my right and renowned Olympian fighting out of the blue corner. Wearing green trunks with gold trim, she weighed in at 165 and one quarter pounds. Undefeated in her young campaign as a professional, her record stands at three wins, no losses, one win coming by way of knockout. Representing the United States, please welcome the two-time Olympic gold medalist from Flint, Michigan, introducing the undefeated Clarissa T. Rex Shields. And her opponent across the ring, the defending world champion on my left, fighting out of the red corner, wearing white trunks, with gold trim, she weighed in at 166 pounds. She also is undefeated in her campaign to the ring with a record of 16 wins, no losses, nine wins coming by way of knockout. Tonight she is making her U.S. debut. Please welcome the current, the defending, and the undefeated WBC Women's Super Middleweight Champion of the World from Augsburg, Bavaria, Germany, introducing Nikki. Once again, a referee in charge, now to give instructions, Michael Griffin. And we take a look at the tail of the tape. Very evenly matched, Nikki Adler and Claressa Shields. Shields coming in way under the super middleweight limit. We mentioned that this is a very easy for her to get up to 168. Take a look at the, uh, the rules, the unified rules in effect here tonight. But of course, a women's world title fight, 10 two minute rounds. And we are underway here in our feature contest from the MGM Grand in Detroit, Michigan. Claressa Shields taking on Nikki Adler, both the WBC and the IBF World Women's Super Middleweight titles on the line. Nikki Adler currently holds the WBC title. The vacant IBF crown on the line, although Adler has held both of these titles before and had to vacate one of them. So a two-time world champion is Nikki Adler, undefeated in her pro career. And right now is in a world of trouble. She has already wobbled. The crowd coming alive here in the Motor City as Shields is unloading target practice for Claressa Shields in the opening 30 seconds of this contest.
Uh, Nikki Adler said leading up to this fight, she had never seen Claressa Shields fight before. Well, she was certainly in for a surprise here in round one. Some swelling already starting on the face of Nikki Adler. Who took some heavy stuff from Shields in the opening minute. Good left hook connects from Shields. And you see the redness on the face of Nikki Adler, who is trying her best to stay tucked behind that guard and just get out of this opening round. Right hand almost lifts Adler off the canvas, a nightmare of a round one for Nikki Adler. I know. I told you it's going to be done. This ain't going to take long. But hey, I need you to throw this. I need you to throw that seven. Get in there and throw that seven. And when you're on the inside, come right over that fucking uppercut. You hear me? Hey. Ooh, I forgot. That was stupid. Come on. You all right? This is a bomb. Come on. I ain't going to say she's a bomb, but she is a bomb. She old. She old. You see Christina Hammer in attendance. People already dreaming about a potential showdown between Shields and Hammer. And hey, the way Claressa Shields is looking right now, maybe it won't take that long. Hammer, a long standing champion, one of the biggest stars in women's boxing. But with a victory here tonight over Nikki Adler in just her fourth pro fight, if Shields can pull this off, Hammer might have some competition in terms of who is the top dog in women's boxing right now. Big left hook connects again from Claressa Shields. Her corner said this isn't going to take long. Not a whole lot of respect for Adler in Shields' corner right now, and you saw Shields' face as she walked towards her corner. It was almost a look of shock in terms of how easy this was. Right hand lands again from Shields. It comes back with the left hook. Now just stuffs Adler with another right hand. Then goes downstairs with some body work. Adler rattled along the ropes. Total domination so far for Shields. Shields connecting with almost everything she is throwing right now. Final 10 seconds. And Adler forced to hang on for the first time. Shields has had Adler hurt in each of the opening two rounds, and Adler does not look stable walking back to her corner. We'll take a look back at some of the action, and it is all Claressa Shields action. As she has just been throwing and landing whatever she feels like through the opening two rounds. You see a four-punch combination just right on the button from Shields. Ready? 
As we begin round three, you see referee Michael Griffin there, and you heard him in the corner after round two. Tell Adler and her corner, you're going to have to show me something. Griffin checking in on the condition of the champion Adler, who has been hurt in round one. She's been hurt in round two. And now getting drilled to the body as we begin round three. Another right hand rocks the head back of Nikki Adler, and it is just extraordinary to watch this. This is almost like two different levels, two different calibers. This is an undefeated two-time world champion that Shields is facing in her fourth pro fight, and the action looks like this. Well, we knew, based on her amateur achievements, a pair of Olympic gold medals, that Shields was a prodigy. But we're seeing just how far ahead of the pack she may already be this early in her pro career. Round three comes to a close. We'll look back at some of the action. You see it all starts with the body work for Claressa Shields, but immediately climbs the ladder. And Adler not responding well to a lot of these shots and really has not had an answer offensively. That's, that's your rip, you understand? Hey, can you do me one favor? Can you give me a tie on and pop up and knock the shit out of her, knock the shit out of her body? I'm good. You hear me? Round four begins. Nikki Adler trying to defend her 168-pound title against Claressa Shields, who was marveling at how easy this training camp was. Of course, she's used to fighting in and around 160 pounds and has basically been there for the majority of her amateur career, if not lower. Shields said that during camp, at most times, she was walking around at 161, 162 and was having to to eat and try to keep weight on to make sure that she has the requisite power at 168, and uh, I don't think that was a problem. Even coming in under 166 pounds here, power is not an issue, and speed is certainly a factor. At times, it's frankly looked like Adler's fighting a, a fighter on fast forward here. And for the majority of this fight, Adler's hands have mostly been stuck at home, just trying to cover up. And that's what happens even when she's trying to purely defend herself. Shields just wrapping shots around the guard, coming through the guard. No answer so far from Nikki Adler, who eats a big right hand and is staggered against the ropes again. 10 seconds left in this round, and it has been survival mode almost from the opening bell for Nikki Adler.
Jetzt wird's, jetzt wird's besser. Bist du da? Bist du nicht da? Bist du da? Bist du nicht da? Komm mal abbrechen. Ist ja alright? Nee, ist okay. You gotta see something now. Jetzt hast du es besser gemacht. Du musst dich auch mehr bewegen. Geh rechts rum. Der Kiefer ist alles gut. Alles gut. Wirklich. Dann sag mir das. Take a look back at some of the action from round four. There was the big right hand that staggered Adler right before the bell. There's the legend Tommy Hearns along with maybe a future legend. We gotta, we gotta rip these choices, Andre Durrell. One of the top 168 pounders in the world. Tommy Hearns, of course. He won a world title at 168. Several weight classes, an international boxing hall of famer, and maybe we're looking at a future hall of famer right now. Certainly an all-time type of performance here when you put everything in perspective. In just her fourth pro fight to be doing this to an undefeated current world champion, two-time world champion in Nikki Adler. Clarissa Shields is making one heck of a statement here in Detroit. See referee Michael Griffin with a a look of concern, perhaps, right now. He once again told Adler and her corner, you have to show me something this round. And thus far, Adler has been brave. She's been courageous. But I don't know that you can say that she's shown signs that she's capable of winning this fight. And I don't know who at 168 would be capable of beating Clarissa Shields, who just staggered Adler again. Two straight left hooks. Michael Griffin having some long thoughts about stopping this one. He will. That is it. Clarissa Shields is a unified world champion in just her fourth professional fight. That is a special fighter, ladies and gentlemen. A special athlete, Clarissa Shields. Now the WBC and IBF 168 pound world champion. Shields being congratulated by her corner, as well as Mark Taffet a moment ago. Just an extraordinary performance from Shields. We mentioned that Adler said she had never seen Shields fight before coming into this fight. So as much of a shock as it may be watching this fight that Shields was able to dominate her like that, just imagine what it was like for Adler. And now maybe Shields' eyes look towards this woman, Christina Hammer. who has long been one of the top draws and the top stars in women's boxing. Maybe a showdown between Shields and Hammer could be on the horizon. We look around at a very satisfied sold out crowd at the hall here in the MGM Grand in Detroit, Michigan. And let's look back at what was truly an extraordinary performance 
from Shields, who round after round had Adler in trouble. And it took the, the grace of referee Michael Griffin to get her out of here because Adler, well, she wasn't going to quit. But this was just one-way traffic from bell to bell. This is round four, and Adler was badly hurt at the end of this round after that right hand. And then finally, the closing sequence. A monstrous sweeping left hook, and another one from Shields. And Michael Griffin looking for a reason to stop it that's as good as any. And the elation from Claressa Shields, who achieves her dream in just her fourth professional fight. Let's make it official. Ladies Let's send it down to Mr. Jimmy Lennon Jr. Time of one minute, 34 seconds in round number five. Our referee in charge, Michael Griffin, stops the contest. She is the winner by way of technical knockout. She is now the unified WBC and IBF super middleweight champion of the world, T-Rex Clarissa Shee. Claressa Shields' dream has come true. Oh man, that's crazy. Two-time Olympic gold medalist, and now two world title belts around her waist. What a night here in Detroit, Michigan. A historic performance in just her fourth pro fight. Claressa Shields, the unified world champion at 168 pounds.